Whoa, what the hell? Whoa! What? Are you kidding me? People can get abducted down here? They took sexy Linda! What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and in this week's episode we have a bit of a double whammy when it comes to events not only is today Mother's Day and as I'm sure most mothers are doing right now Emma has decided to go water sliding at one o'clock in the morning but as you guys have been telling me on Twitter and in the comments apparently it is Kevin and Emma's one year anniversary I would have never noticed that but considering there are so many reasons I feel like we should probably do something for Emma this week I'm not entirely sure how long Emma is going to be able to stay entertained doing this. And we need time because Kevin has a plan and Kevin's plans need a lot of preparation. So we might need the kids to keep her a bit distracted. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Apple, you just slip and slide and stuff with her. And then Kevin, we can go initiate your plan. Wait, you're sleeping in a bush? You have a bed right there. Why? What is going on with your hands right now? Kevin, are you in here? He's, he's in here somewhere. I've never actually seen a sim sleeping in a bush. There he is. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> we got preparations to make. How is that cold? Oh my god, his face. Oh, the Sims. <laughs> Kevin, wake up. The bush is eating your face. Okay, wake up. Wake up. There we go. Your wife is not going to be very happy if you try to have an anniversary with half a face. Now you're uncomfortable from sleeping in a bush. Whose fault is that? Just consider yourself lucky that you still have the money maker. There is one very special place to Emma, being the Forgotten Grotto, because that's where Kevin proposed to her twice. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if this is their initial anniversary or their second wedding anniversary. Things get really weird with Kevin. He dies all the time. You guys just saw that he almost got digested by a bush, so... You know what, Kevin, you're lucky that she puts up with you. But she does love the Forgotten Grotto, so we're going to go there, and uh, hopefully Kevin is going to be able to set up stuff for a little surprise. Kevin, the bottom of your feet are so black, and I don't know why I'm surprised. You wear socks everywhere. You just wore socks as you ran through the desert. All right, Kevin, so this is what we have to work with. Not a whole lot of space, but then again, we don't have too many close friends. We don't need to invite like a hundred people to this kind of thing. So it's up to you to make it work. You look really evil right now in this lighting. I'm not going to lie. So what do we have to work with? Uh, we got dirt. Oh, good. Somebody left uh, some plates, some cleaning supplies, some boxes. That'll be enough, right? Can I trust you to actually do this? There are no bushes for you to fall asleep in. I get the feeling we should probably bring a few kids here to help you. I've brought everybody except for Barbie because we have a task for Barbie. Uh, Evie, you could have put on some clothes. You didn't need to rush down here right away. I mean, I, I appreciate it and stuff. Where did Kevin, Kevin, stay away from the cleaning supplies. I was joking. What is he doing? <laughs> what the? What? Why is there a toilet here? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. Did he just shoo people away? Okay, yeah, they're all just going to turn their back. Okay, that's good, because I was going to say, I'm not really sure how you're going to bring a toilet down here. We need that for the party. I'm kind of afraid that some weird, like, cave hobo built that. Working plumbing, though. So, yeah, good stuff. But other than that, uh, oh, you can't be hungry. Okay, get a caterer. Just get everything sorted. I'm going to leave this entirely up to you. Okay, yes, goodbye. You're in charge. Emma, you are really taking this whole Mother's Day thing. To a whole nother level. She's already taken the day off work, uh -huh. and now she's drinking at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm not one to judge. If anything, it's going to make Barbie's job easier, because she needs to keep her distracted. And Emma seems to do a pretty good job distracting herself. I thought it would be pretty fitting, actually, because Barbie's never really done anything with Emma. Like, we've done family stuff, but I can't remember Barbie doing something with Emma alone. And they have a bit of a strange relationship when it comes to mothers because she's not really her mother they're, they're not related whatsoever but she is her mother right so I figured if we need some kind of distraction why don't we actually make it count and Barbie can take Emma out to I was gonna say dinner but uh, breakfast drinks at this point I really have no idea Emma 
I know you're a little bit tipsy, but I can't imagine they're gonna let you in here dressed like that, right? Squidward works here. Look how professional he looks. But we can try. I mean, worst case scenario, you could just fight whoever turns us away. Okay, we'll give it a shot. We'll have her uh, request a table. We could just sit down, have a meal, have another couple dozen drinks if we really need to. We're just gonna have a good time. The guy working the front desk took one look at her and then went into the back. It looks like they're having some kind of employee meeting back there. Yeah, can, can we get a table? They might turn you away because you technically own the restaurant across the street. That's probably just beating the pants off of them, right? Shea Sauce is uh, definitely the place to be right now. This place is dead. Can't even get any freaking service here. Hello? Here we go. What is this guy's name? Uh, Ritvik Joyson. Ritvik, you wouldn't happen to be a vampire, would you? I don't know why so many restaurants have vampires working the front door, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Ritvik is a vampire, and I'm not judging him by his name. You know what, that might just be a very typical uh, middle European name. The hissing in the teeth, though, they're, they're kind of a giveaway. Ooh, live entertainment! I regret my decisions. Oh my god, Emma, they actually let you in here like that? I could have sworn they wouldn't, right? Because restaurants have a dress code. And I'm pretty sure that this place was semi-formal. Like, everybody is very nicely dressed up. The sauces, they're borderline celebrities. That, and they, they probably need the money, right? Emma could drink the whole bar. Can I pay him to stop? Yes, just go away. Let's try that. We might need to get up from our table. Oh, okay. That worked. Sweet. We didn't even have to pay him anything. All right, so, um, yeah, it's about two o'clock. We came here for breakfast. We're now gonna get lunch or drinks or again, I don't really know, Squidward service. This lady doesn't even work here. She's just kind of looming over us. Uh, hello, Squidward. We would like uh, two of your finest, most alcoholic drinks. Okay, there's some drama for you. What is Barbie's biological mother doing here? We never see her, like ever, because she's one of those weird sims that they're in the game, but they're not in the game. You know what I mean? They're, they're weird, you can't really get them out. And all of a sudden she shows up on the one day that Barbie's hanging out with Emma, on Mother's Day. Why do you have to be tacky like that? Don't come over here. Don't sit down with us. Yeah, that's right, Emma. You tell her. Patrick Flaherty would like to go out on a date. Why is every crappy person just coming out of the woodworks all of a sudden when Barbie spends time with her mom? Yeah, get out of here. You're lucky that she doesn't pound you into the ground. Not only were you a crappy mom, but uh, you stuck stuff in Kevin's butt. We don't really appreciate that. Thank you, Squidward. Please remove her. Squidward, where are you going? This isn't removing her, Squidward. You're not gonna earn yourself a tip if you keep acting like this. Okay, that's fine. No tip for him. We'll remember that. Emma will do it herself. Don't kill her, Emma. Okay. No, that's okay. I don't think the death ray works particularly well on public lots anyway. But, uh, yeah, you know what? I feel like that's kind of fitting. She's still a bit of a giant glowing distraction, but, uh, serves her right. Barbie doesn't seem to mind whatsoever. How's your drink? This wasn't exactly what I had in mind for this day, but I'm really happy that it happened. So far, so good. And we've been buying lots of time for everybody else. Let's just pray that they haven't burned the cave down. Her alien butt is so big that it didn't even get frozen by the gun. I've never seen that before. Even Trump had his butt fully covered. Not that I'm looking at Trump's butt. Speaking of crappy people, Mortimer, I don't believe that's your wife. Right? Actually, now that I think about it, we technically broke him up with his wife. So, I, I guess a rich guy like him can manage to find himself a honey pretty easily. Uh, excuse me, vampire person and everybody else. <laughs> this is so many people randomly hanging out around us. This restaurant is great. <laughs> I gotta say, one of my favorite places to come. Squidward is uh, doing a great job. Are you gonna come grab these dishes from us? Could you get rid of that big ice person, maybe? No, you're just gonna look at it? What are you doing? Oh, oh, he's writing up our bill. I see how it is. No, 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 Squidward. We're not leaving yet. There's still plenty of space at the bar. 
I'm kind of curious why Barbie is very... Actually, they're both very focused right now. Oh, it's because they're both geniuses. I never even thought about that. They, they have so much in common that they just enjoy talking to each other. It's like I said, I've done so much in this series, but at the same time... I haven't really? Oh god, this place is gross. Maybe you could clean it up a little bit, uh, Spongebob? <laughs> uh... Spongebob, you're not... Actually, I was gonna say you're not looking great, but you're looking fantastic. That plastic surgery is really doing wonders for you. I'm kinda curious where the other Spongebob people are now, because if Squidward works here, and if Spongebob works here, Where's Patrick, right? Do either of you guys know where Patrick is? Did he get fired from the kitchen or something like that? Right now the only person working in the kitchen is Miss Marvel. And uh, whoa, what a... <laughs> Where else would you see Grim Reaper hanging out with Bob Ross? They're, they're not out on a date, okay? It's not like that, they're just friends, right? Uh, Darth, you're whining and dining some random by the looks of it. Where did Emma go? Oh! Just gonna show up the staff here. I mean, that's that's how it works, right? You just have a few drinks and then you start singing. She broke out. She's going to bed. Serves you right. Get out of here, you uh, butt penetrating hussy. Oh, that's not good. What's wrong? Oh, wait, it's very uncomfortable. Uh oh, those stomach gurgles don't sound good. Wait, no. What what's happening right now? Stomach gurgles. Why are you both sick? Why is Squidward standing in a T-pose? <laughs> they put something in the food. Oh, oh, oh. Don't throw up. You have, um, totally not surprises to go to. You're, why, how are you very happy but on the bridge of throwing up? <laughs> I'm never coming back here again. You know what, we're not even paying. We're just, we're gonna throw up everywhere and we're gonna leave. Screw you, Squidward. What are you doing, you idiot? What is he doing? I don't understand this game sometimes. Can we can we leave? We want our, our bill. No, not death ray bill. Restaurant. Uh, compliments. Yeah, okay. I, I want my bill. Can you do that for me before I throw up everywhere? He just charged it to our account. Doesn't really feel like moving. People are walking through him. Okay. You know what? It's uh been like 18 hours. I think we should probably check in on Kevin. He could do a lot of damage in 18 hours. And then maybe you guys can get some Pepto and some Tums, take a poop, you'll be fine. Kevin, I don't think I've ever said this, or at least not very often, but good job. This place looks awesome. This is going to be a dope party. We have liquor, a dance floor. A, I don't know how you got that kind of a toilet down through a mine shaft. We even got a little uh, wedding arch thingy. Oh, I wonder if you can do like a vow renewal with Emma. That would be really cool. I don't know if that's something that you could do in the game or not. Yeah, there's even like food and stuff. Okay, I think we should be good. So now we just need to invite people. Hopefully they'll trust that Kevin is leading them down a mine shaft not to kill them. <laughs> and then we can get uh, you off the old karaoke machine, right Evie? Because that's just gonna steer people away. I think we can officially color Emma surprised. Whoa. What was that, Kevin? What was, what was that? That was sassy. I mean, it wouldn't be a party with Kevin if he wasn't wearing shoes. The tux, though, it looks great, dude. You're doing a great job so far. I'm amazed you haven't screwed something up. This is such a cool little place. I can't get over how great a party area this is. I'm curious now. Whoa. Was... Oh, no, Bigfoot. Can Bigfoot sing? No. I mean, they don't have karaoke out in the woods, okay? I was going to say, I want to see if we can actually get some food going, right? Uh, yeah, just serve, serve everything. Serve all the foods. Uh-oh. I think Emma might still have the poops. Are you feeling okay, Emma? Uh, yeah, she's fine. Oh, no, she's not fine. She's gonna go puke. She's not pregnant. Before anybody gets that weird thought, it was something in the food, right? You're good? Yeah, she, she's doing fine. She's just, you know, anything touched by Squidward. It's not sanitary. Renew vows with Emma Yager. You can actually, oh my God, Kevin's face. <laughs> I'll never get over that. Okay, let's renew vows. I did not think that was a thing. That is so cool. Okay, uh, is this actually gonna work? They are now renewing their vows. 
don't expect anybody to stop partying, but, uh, oh, then again, you know what? This is for you guys. This is all that really matters. I know the lighting is making you look a little evil, but it's still romantic. That was, whoa. Uh, what should, oh, okay, that's, that's awkward. Kind of fitting. <laughs> that is a pose pack. How I, oh, how I make some thumbnails. You guys are making, ooh, you're making this real awkward right now. Honestly, Kevin, of all the ways you could have screwed this up, that was not the worst. So I'm still proud of you, buddy. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa! What? Are you kidding me? People can get abducted down here? They took sexy Linda. Well, that put a freaking dampener on the party. Everybody stopped dancing. It went to dead quiet. And aliens took sexy Linda. I can't believe this right now. <laughs> How do people get like, I guess there are there are like little cracks. We can see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You can see sky above us. So it's not so much a cave as it is like a canyon. Never safe. Emma still has no problem breaking it down though. Who needs music? This is... Actually, this isn't your party. This is other Emma, isn't it? I just realized she's not wearing a wedding dress. <laughs> she always comes out though. I always say it. She, she shows up, she supports the family, she's there for all the important events, and she's never done anything evil, so... I, I still like her. And yeah, she she's definitely Emma. I was about to point out that Emma seems to be feeling better because she's having a meal. She's not all throwy uppy anymore. Like I said, Squidward touches food, all of a sudden you get sick. Surprise, surprise. I'm a little bit more concerned as to what happened to Tommy. Are you always oh, just tired? I guess you didn't really sleep. You just spent the whole day planning. Whoa. Hey, sexy Linda. Okay. <laughs> Gravity beam's not strong enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? It's really hard to discern any kind of emotion from Linda, right? She's she's just always the same. I don't know if she's dazed. If, oh, okay, no, she's hungry. Oh yeah, Headless Jack doing the rowboat. Whoa, whoa, okay, no, there's no need to break down too much. He's got to be on something. I would say to check his pupils, but... Uh, now that I think about it, I wonder if Apple and Evie can renew their vows. Yeah, they can. Screw it. Why not? I don't think Kevin and Emma would mind, and uh, I can't imagine this is a very cheap event, right? Like I said, how do you get a dance floor down a mine shaft? So let's just make use of it. Oh, Emma, did you just pee in the hobo toilet? <laughs> there is a perfectly good toilet right there. What is wrong with you? There's a pretty strong possibility that I missed their anniversary too, right? Like, I don't follow these things. The only reason I know is because people bombarded me on Twitter and in the comments telling me, so figured why not make an event out of it? And apparently today is Mother's Day. I didn't know that either. I swear, I'm not a crappy son. I'm recording this on Saturday, so I'm in the clear. But love is in the air. So are a whole bunch of confetti. It's gonna be all oh, not this again. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. Very eventful episode. Honestly, I had no idea what I wanted to do going into this other than we had all of these events and I really wanted to party in the Forgotten Grotto. I've wanted to for a long time now and you guys pretty much just gave me a reason to do so. So thank you guys very much for that. And you know, moving forward, I do want to do more stuff with the sauces. I get a lot of comments still from people saying, when are you going to do more of the life of Kevin? When are we going to see more Kevin or the sauces? And you know, the reason that I can have year long anniversaries for my Sims, which is ridiculous. The reason that this series has been going on for so long is because I want to take my time with it. I don't want to rush episodes up on Sundays. I want to make sure that every single episode counts. And that's why I've been doing a bunch of mini series and stuff like that. But don't worry, the sauces, they're not going anywhere. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.